It's always a hard pill to swallow when an actor gets let go from a popular show or movie franchise. Actors getting fired due to behind-the-scenes drama that may have occurred is nothing we haven't seen before. When an actor leaves, the chemistry built on set is altered. And while tensions backstage may have calmed down, the loss of a co-worker is definitely felt, especially amongst viewers. Everyone who was in the cast of Martin held their own. For the show, Martin enlisted a group of young and veteran actors and comedians. Garrett Morris played Stan Winters. Stan was Martin's boss and station owner at WZUP. Morris would play Stan for two seasons, but was suddenly fired without an explanation. Here's why Martin and Garrett Morris stopped working together. Garrett Morris was born on February 1, 1937 in New Orleans, Louisiana. At a young age, Morris started singing in his church choir, which led him to start training at Juilliard School of Music and eventually Dillard University. Morris soon picked up an interest in acting in theater after appearing in an episode of General Hospital and being a part of the main cast of the CBS sitcom Roll Out in 1973, which only lasted 12 episodes. Morris's breakout role was him being a part of the original Saturday Night Live cast in 1975. This would also make Morris the first black cast member the show would have. In addition to TV, Morris was in movies like Cooley High and Car Wash. Now, after making a few more movies and guest starring on a few TV shows, Morris was cast as Stan Winters in Martin Lawrence's own self-titled sitcom, Martin, in 1992. Stan, according to Morris himself, was slimy, a jive-ass player, and lastly, a small businessman who made it big. Martin would become a hit as the first season would average 11.4 million viewers, followed by a successful second season. Now, despite how popular the show was getting for viewers, there appeared to be a fragile relationship that was tested in 1994. In the middle of the show's second season, during February 1994, Morse would end up getting shot in a robbery attempt in central Los Angeles. Morse was walking to his car when he was approached by two men on the sidewalk that demanded money from him. The men grabbed him from behind, but because Morris is a first-degree black belt, he quickly whipped around and was faced by a man holding a gun. One of the men fired two shots, which hit Morris's chest and stomach. He was immediately taken to the hospital and needed to have surgery. Upon research, it appeared that Fox and Morris's Martin co-stars would remain quiet about the unfortunate incident. But what has surprised many, it would be decided by a producer of the series that Morris will not be returning while he laid in the hospital fighting for his life. That's when the uh, person who was producing uh, Martin uh, decided to fire me while I was actually in the hospital. This was my fourth major operation, and I received a script that said Stan sells the radio station and moves to China. So I said to the makeup lady, does that mean I'm out of the show? That's what happened. Basically, while I was actually in the hospital, for some strange reason, they decided to get rid of me. Morris knew he had two options. He could have been depressed or have gotten angry. Morris admitted he was angry at the time, but decided to move on from the moment. I knew that I had been wronged. I knew that I had been mistreated. My thing was, I don't even like you, so I don't even want to fight to be with you. Morris was a part of the cast in the show's first two seasons. And in 1994, at the end of the second season, Stan was written out of the show when he got into trouble with the IRS and owed them $20,000 in taxes. Stan sold the station, then moved to China. Garrett Morris appeared in over 50 episodes and would have a guest role in the third season's episode, Cream, which would be his final appearance on the show. Since Martin went off the air, Morris has enjoyed a successful acting career, playing Uncle Junior King on The Jamie Foxx Show, for more than 100 episodes, being one of his most famous roles. In 2019, Morris did an interview with Netflix's Strong Black Leads and revealed that even after all these years, he still doesn't know why he was let go from the show. The man who produced Martin basically was Martin Lawrence. After I had no bad words with him, still to this day, I don't understand why he decided to fire me while I was in Daniel Freeman Hospital. Not only did he fire me while I was in the hospital itself, but then went around telling people in interviews that he came and sat by my bed and cried and stuff like that. The same person. It's a shame that Morris was never given an explanation on why he was let go from one of his most known roles. 
Despite the abrupt exit, we're glad to say that Moore's got to be a part of one of the best casts in sitcom history, and we're even luckier to say that he was able to survive that nearly fatal day in February of 1994.